chosen ones where you are where you are where you are where you are chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video right great someone is not talking to you texting you or chatting you or messaging you right great in this video i'll be telling you the reason why someone is doing that to you all right great and i'll be giving you the way forward what to do when someone is doing that all right so make sure you watch the entire video all right great so let's delve deep into it the reason why someone is not talking to you is not calling you or texting you or messaging you is because they own you an apology yes sometimes people intentionally behave that way so that you will be guilty all right that is emotional blackmail they are emotionally blackmailing you or emotionally manipulating you because these people know who you are they know that you are empathetic they know that you are very emotional right you have emotional intelligence okay so they are doing that to make you start thinking about them to start giving them attention because you know what you focus on expand you are what you give your attention to right you are what you dwell on all right with time such become your reality okay so people who did you wrong will intentionally back off or pull away or left you in order for you to feel emotional okay to be emotionally blackmailed or to be manipulated emotionally they own your apology they did you wrong and that is the reason why they intentionally start doing that all right so never mind when people are doing that to you okay i know for sure you as a chosen one you will try to call them you will try to message them you will try to talk to them oh what have i done to you have i wronged you if i've wronged you let me know so that um you know if there is any apology i will apologize okay tell me if i've wronged you if i've if i've done something wrong you just tell me and i'll apologize all right you tell the person and the person said you've done nothing wrong there is nothing nothing is wrong right just be yourself just be yourself that is it all right i want to tell you something um remember if someone is not texting you messaging you talking to you remember you've been in your mom's womb your mother's womb right for nine solid months and you've not text anybody nobody text you in there and you survived all right so is there something you cannot survive you can you've been in your mother's belly for nine solid months all right and you were not talking to anybody you were not talking to people you weren't talking all right so now if people are not talking to you nobody was talking to you at then if now that you have life people are not talking to you and you try your possible best to ask them what is wrong tell me if i've done you wrong let me know so that i apologize and they say you've done nothing wrong that is cool all right put yourself together get yourself together and continue to be yourself i tell you mind your own business focus on yourself okay this person that i'm referring to as someone in quotes are people in your cycle could be your friends could be your coworker your coworkers it could be your the people in your neighborhood the people you sharing you are in the same flat with right they aren't talking to you that's cool you've done your part 
Okay, God knows the disposition of every person's heart, every man's heart. So, if you try your best to make sure, oh, have I wronged you? And the person is like, no, just let it be. Be yourself. There is no time to waste. Remember, time is a very important resource. All right? Don't waste your time, your energy on things that don't really matter. All right. So if they ignore you, be you. Ignore them. If they ignore you, ignore them. If they don't text you, be yourself. If they don't call you, they don't talk to you. Come on, be yourself. Remember, you have a God who never gives up on you, who is always communicating to you, who is always talking to you. All right, and you are going to hear your God loud and clear. You're gonna sense, feel Him by not dwelling on things of this nature, letting it go. Don't hold grudge, don't harbor offense, bitterness in you. Have a free heart, have a free spirit. All right, and when you're doing that, I'm telling you, God will always keep on communicating to you. God will always keep on speaking to you in your heart. Your heart here is your spirit. God will keep on communicating to your spirit. Your heart is the contact point for the Holy Spirit, for the Spirit of God to dwell. It's a home. Your heart is heaven. All right? So don't let it be troubled. Don't let it be worried. Know how to let certain things go. That is why Christ said, Cast all your burdens on me, for I care. Come to me, all of you who are heavy loaded and burdened, and I will give you rest. Because Christ knows that when you hold the burden in there, it poisons your spirit. It shifts your vibration into negativity, and it makes you a toxic and negative person. And to make you be living in sorrow, in self-pity, and as a victim. And you will be living in misery. Your heart is heaven. Take care of your heart. Don't harbor any offense, any bitterness, any grudge with anybody. For sure, people are going to offend you. Yes. And whether you are right or wrong, you don't have the right to hold on to offense, to hold on to a grudge. Remember, People begins to control you when you get provoked, angered by them. They are indirectly controlling your emotions. All right? Emotions means energy in motion. And nothing can be created without energy. All right? So people will try to be, I mean, hitting you. You know, just not talking to you, just not texting you so that you'll be emotionally uh, down. You'll be a downcast. No, don't let that get you depressed. All right? Remember, the love that will sustain you in this life is the love that you give to yourself. It is not the love that you give to someone your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your husband, or your wife. But it is the love that you give to your own self, that you show your own self. That is the love that will sustain you for the rest of your life in your stay here on earth. I'm telling you. So learn to love yourself. Learn to value yourself. Learn to respect yourself. When you respect yourself, and someone is not talking to you, is ignoring you, is not texting you, you will not be bothering them, you will not be projecting yourself onto them because you know who you are. You accept yourself and work on yourself to become a better version of your true and authentic self. All right? So that is what you got to do as a chosen one, as a person. All right? If they are not texting you, messaging you, that is all right. That is cool. Remember, people always do that. 
okay? Because they own you an apology. Because they want to emotionally blackmail you or manipulate you. So take care of your emotions. Take control. You are in control over your emotions, over your thoughts, over your action, your words, over your habits and your character. You are in control of certain things. All right? Don't be given power, people power over you. All right? The only power people have over you is the power you give them. So stop focusing on them. If you don't matter to them, focus on you and your God. After all, you have God that is on your side. You have the Father, you have the Son, you have the Holy Spirit that is with you. You are not alone. So why worry if someone is not texting you, calling you, talking to you, chosen one? You have so many people that are with you. You are not alone in this. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now.